Welcome to the Rustic Anchor Woodworks channel. On this episode, I'm going to show you how to build this herringbone pattern coffee table, so stay tuned. Before we get started on this project, please smash that like button and subscribe. All right, for this coffee table, you're going to need a three quarter inch sheet of plywood that measures 24 inches by 48 inches long, a four pack of 18 inch hairpin legs, a tube of liquid nails, and two packs of project planks. I got these from the big box store. Take all your full size project planks and cut them right down the middle. I'm not looking for any sort of accuracy here. Just get it pretty rough. The next thing you want to do is you want to mark your center point on each end. That'll be 12 inches in. And then go ahead and put a line connecting both center points. This is going to reference the herringbone. All right, to set up the herringbone pattern on this coffee table top, go ahead and take, take two planks, measure how wide they are, and then mark the center point on the first two. You're gonna wanna grab your speed square, have that handy and ready to go. So your center line of your plank is gonna line up with the center line reference of the coffee table top and be at a 90 degree angle. So, we're gonna, for example, we're gonna find that mark that you did, line it up with that center line, grab your other sheet, or your other plank, and then try to line up that line on the reference. The pattern will go, you know, this is the first ones we started. You're gonna take your next board, basically cap that seam have a straight edge over here, and then you're just gonna go down the line, alternating back and forth. I wanna point out that I'm using 3 quarter inch brad nails in my brad nailer. Um, these are 5 16 of an inch, so the brad nail's probably gonna go half the depth of that, um, and I'm not gonna shoot out of the bottom, hopefully. So, we'll kick this off. You don't need that much liquid nail. Let it sit. After I completed doing the whole herringbone design, I put another sheet of plywood over the top and added some weights to keep everything pressed down. So the next step is you're going to want to flip it over. I'm going to take my AccuCut, line it up to the end of my piece of plywood, and every edge, I'm just going to rip the excess um, panels off at the exact same line as my plywood. All 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit this uh, top with the belt sander at 150 grit, uh, just to get them a little bit more even. And then I'll follow it up with uh, puttying all the brad nail holes and then 150 grit with the uh, random, random orbital sander. So I'll save you guys uh, this part of the video and stay tuned for the next part. I have the top all sanded down and ready to stain. Um, you know, I didn't go crazy on sanding because I want this piece to look rustic and kind of distressed a little bit. Um, not just perfect and immaculate. That's just the look and style I'm going for. So you can see some of the mill marks, um, some dings and stuff that I just chose to leave, leave in there. Generally it's flat. You can set a coffee cup on there or a coffee mug, I'm sorry, a drink. You're not going to have any issues. Um, I think it gives it some character. So for this stain, I'm going to use golden mahogany um, and then the main color is going to be dark walnut. With the golden mahogany, uh, I just want to highlight each center of the herringbone and then the dark mahogany I'm going to go on the outside. I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll try it out. I really, I wanted to try this uh, with the gold mahogany in the center of each plank just to give it some uh, dimension so you can really tell how the herringbone's uh, pattern is and it kind of, it'll kind of pop out. So, and you can really use uh, like a blue, a gray, um, whitewash. I think this heron bone and the style coffee table looks good with anything. So I got it all stained up. I flipped it over, gave it a super light uh, sanding, just smooth all the stuff out. Um, this isn't wet, it's just stained. So. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. I'm just about out with this, so hold your breath. I only blame myself for this mess. Good thing I was using water-based paint and not the oil-based. So while this bottom's drying, I have three pieces of six foot long by two inches by um, one inch select pine. Really it measures inch and a half um, by three quarter inches by six foot long. So this is gonna be my trim piece. I'm going to measure, I already know it's 48 inches long, okay, from the length. I'm gonna have it extend three quarters of an inch on each side for the trim piece that goes this way. So 48 inches plus an inch and a half to count for three quarters of an inch on each side. Um, 49 and a half inches is what I'm going to cut uh, two of these down to. Then I'm going to sand them down, stain them, uh, put some glue on the inside, shoot them in with the brad nailer, and I'll take my measurements for these end trim pieces, do the exact same thing. Now it's time to attach the legs and then move on to the trim. So I'm going to set my legs an inch and a quarter in from each corner. So I have this guy set up. This thing is beginning to look a lot like a coffee table. All right, for the trim, what we're gonna do is, uh, remember we had a three quarter inch overhang on each side, so that way the inner trim piece um, will butt up, and all you had to do is cut the inner trim piece to whatever the width was, um, 24 inches in this case, or you can do uh, 45 degree miters, that'll look a little bit nicer. Um, but, so what I wanna do to set this up is get my tape measure, measure in three quarters of an inch, 
it a little line with a pencil. Okay. So when I go to put this on, all I have to do is line the edge up with my three quarter it, three quarter inch uh, pencil line, and uh, then I can glue it, shoot it in place, and know where to reference this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue it, shoot them, go around the table. And then uh, I'll get back to you when I'm done. Guys, don't be like Brody, lazy, and chilling on the couch that he's not supposed to. Go out there, get some wood, and build something. And Brody, get off of my couch, you lazy dog. Well guys, that's the end of this video. Thanks for sticking it out until the end. If you liked it, please hit that like button and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next one.